I tell you what, this is a film you totally want to check out. I love the messages. I love the fashion in this film. And overall, it's just a solid project. Folks, let's get to my review of the new film, Appendage. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the new film Appendage which made its world premiere at South by Southwest 2023 and keep your eyes out for it as it will be releasing on Hulu very very soon. Yeah this is a film that I'm gonna be honest that I was interested because of the cast number one. Um, I'm a huge fan of Kasser Muhammad, uh, not only just her acting, uh, but just her as a person. Any project she's in, I'm absolutely checking out. It's not even a question. And then Hadley Robinson is your lead in this film, who I was also interested in. And I'm going to tell you that the two of them have amazing chemistry in this film as BFFs. Um, that really invites the audience to just really ensure, enjoy uh, their, their friendship. And, and it's very special. It's very opening. Um, but at the same time, too, uh, these are two friends that are battling some frustrations. And I think, like, um, any artist can relate to some of the frustrations here. But when you start to dig deeper and deeper into the root of what this film is trying to uh, explore... Oh, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to have a lot to talk about here. Um, and this film is listed as a comedy horror. And yeah, there's some comedy in it. But man, the surrealism in the horror is, is what I think supersedes all of that. Because this is about a film about a young designer, which in this case is Hannah, who's played by H Hatley Robinson, um, who life is just going all over the place. She does not have a good relationship with her mother um kind of shaky with her dad um she was in a uh, car accident when she was younger she's struggling with her mental health and in the fashion industry she's really struggling to really uh, uh have her vision accepted and in that case it's because you have you know these these high fashion moguls and bosses, you know, want things to be through their lens but you have these other artists which also when you talk about uh Cosser's, um character and esther also have a certain way of how they want to show their art so like this struggles on that note but here's where things get really interesting is because these inner issues that hannah is experiencing is growing into something much more gruesome and in this case it is this alien looking it's like a how do i put this it's like a mega pimple Except it becomes a person and then it talks and it's painful and it starts to speak as if it's your co your, your consciousness, but it's completely like completely ugly. Like, and I ain't saying ugly by like its looks, but just me in terms of like how it treats its host, which in this case, it treats Hannah like degrades her, make her feel terrible about herself. I mean, by all means, the the bit of self esteem that she has left, this little creature thing just starts to just knock that down left and right here. Um, but what's interesting about this is that this film explores some very important messages here. And I think when you think about Hannah's story, it's about her facing and dealing with the horrors of her inner childhood and trauma. And now we start to see those inner issues start to grow into something what happens to be this creature so and when you and when you think about this creature it almost becomes like the wounded inner child to her which is basically growing and growing into something till it ultimately wants to well claim its host and that's like the theme of the film at least that's what i got from the film which i think is so good so interesting because you know, the more and more you see Hannah's story, the more and more you find pieces of it that you could relate to. You know, again, her struggling with her mental health, not really having um, the acceptance in her professional life in terms of her vision with art. Um, this really, really damaged relationship with, with her mother who completely degrades her in terms of the different things that she experienced as a child. I'm not trying to give too much away. And then it's just it's just really difficult. And not only just that, too, like Hannah dating life ain't all ain't 
so good as well too um it's questionable and it's and it's starting to draw some insecurities which starts to create a bit of an issue between hannah and esther um and at the same time she got this thing that's growing that is just really starting to take over and claim her and so yeah this ain't just a figment of her imagination this thing is really growing and with this thing really growing she has to figure this out at the same time she's still trying to maintain her own life there's a lot going on here and i'm going to say that when this thing but like starts to begin to grow and starts to really come into its own it changes the direction of this film now like again there's very important messages in this film but by all means when it really taps into the horror this thing this this film gets gruesome you know um and i think that uh you know at the end of the day when we see hannah reach her breaking point uh, and, and, and understanding uh, how she needs to recontrol her life and gain control of her life um, and, and, and really have to allow the folks around her who really care about her to be there. Uh, it's a very important message, but it's also ultimately a good story. And I enjoyed this film. I really did. I cannot wait for you all to check it out. But uh, fantastic performances by uh, Hadley. Uh, Kasser was fantastic. The fashion in this film was amazing. I'm talking about each and every outfit that these two ladies wore was top tier. Uh, there were some other supporting uh, actors as well that I thought really made things interesting. I'm not going to give too much away, but uh, Esther has a best friend who happens to be Hannah's uh, love interest at the time. And I have not seen the short of this film because this was a short. And this did uh, premiere, uh, I think, a couple of years ago. I think it was at Sundance. Um, to kind of really see this film uh, come from a short um, and, and, and then grow to what this film is now makes me even more intrigued to see where it started from because this is a solid overall film and there's nothing more exciting to me when a, when, when a, when a director gets an opportunity to take their short film, make it a feature length film, uh, have a budget to do so, and then put out a good project, you know? And I'm really interested in seeing what the director, Anna, is going to do next because this is a good one. A good, a good mix of horror, some comedy. There definitely was some laughable moments, but some of it couldn't be a little bit triggering because, again, the things that Hannah was dealing with, I, I, I can tell you that there may be folks who has, you know, battled with uh, insecurities and self-confidence that, you know... It's not it's not so funny, but when people jab at it and the way how this little creature thing that was going out of her was going at her the way she was, yeah, it can be a little bit comedic, but yeah, it is very triggering and not funny at all. But overall, it's a must-watch. Check this one out, folks. You get in the comments once you do and let me know your thoughts about it. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.